Speaking of the richest family in the world, what family do you think about? The Saudi Arabian royal family? The British royal family? Or the Rockefellers? Well, if any of these families come to mind, then you're not far from the correct answer. Have you ever heard of the Rothschild family? The only family rumored to be worth a staggering $2 trillion and own over 1,000 mansions and 100 private jets. You heard that right. The Rothschild family is arguably the richest in the world, with an estimated annual income of $390 billion. So who are the Rothschilds, and how did they accumulate so much wealth? Join us as we discuss everything about the Rothschilds. Before we get into the full details, kindly give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more premium content. Whenever the Rothschild family name pops up, the only thing that comes to mind is old generational wealth. The Rothschild family is a wealthy lineage dating back to the 1800s. The family originated from Frankfurt, Germany, before Mayor Amschel, who happens to be the family's progenitor, moved the family to London. But how did they generate so much wealth? The Rothschilds didn't become a rich family overnight. It was through decades and centuries of hard work that they secured their incomparable wealth, owing to their substantial investment in all sectors, particularly the banking sector. The Rothschilds' primary source of wealth comes from their banking and finance operations. They pioneered innovative financial instruments, such as government bonds, crucial in funding various nations' debts. The family's international presence and ability to navigate complex financial transactions allowed them to earn substantial profits. Another means of their wealth is strategic alliances with influential figures and political leaders. By forging strong relationships with monarchs, governments, and industrialists, they gained access to exclusive investment opportunities and secured lucrative deals. This network not only expanded their wealth, but also enhanced their influence in global affairs. Lastly, they played safe with their wealth by diversifying their investment portfolio. They financed railways, mining ventures, and industrial enterprises, which yielded significant returns. Their strategic investments in vital sectors contributed to economic growth and provided them with additional avenues for generating wealth. Now that we have a glimpse of how they generate their wealth, let's find out how they've preserved it over the years. The Rothschild family, unlike other wealthy families, allows intermarriages within the family to keep their wealth. Although, this was stopped in the 1900s as the sons started marrying outside the family due to reasons best known to them. Moving forward, there are a lot of conspiracies about the family that they own 80% of the world's money. Well, that's what they are. Just mere conspiracies. Nothing else. This doesn't take away the fact that the Rothschilds are the creme de la creme of the richest families in the world. So how do they spend their ever-growing wealth? The Rothschild family is known for their impeccable taste in properties. From the houses they own to their car collection, you can tell their lavish tastes. First up, we have the breathtaking Waddesdon Manor. Situated in Buckinghamshire, built between 1874 and 1885 by Baron Ferdinand de Rothschild, this neo-Renaissance-style mansion was inspired by the great French chateau. It's not just a house, but a showcase of the Baron's remarkable art collection and a place to entertain the fashionable elites. Over the years, it's welcomed distinguished guests like King Edward VII and Queen Victoria. In 1959, the Waddesdon Manor opened its doors to the public, allowing visitors to marvel at the Rothschild family's impressive collections of sculptures, paintings, and decorative arts. Right on the same estate as the Waddesdon Manor is the stunning Ethrope Gardens, combining elements of the Jacobian and French Renaissance styles. This marvelous garden was explicitly created by Alice de Rothschild to house and exhibit her incredible collection. And yes, you guessed it, the Athrope Gardens is also open to the public. We're halfway through guys and there are more details to come so stick around. If you're enjoying the video, kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so. Now, if you think the Waddesdon Manor is massive, get ready for the Ascot House, which sits on a vast 32-acre land in the hamlet of Ascot, Buckinghamshire, England. Originally acquired by Baron Mayor de Rothschild, it was later transformed into a charming country house by his nephew, Leopold de Rothschild. This informal country house features large reception rooms adorned with exquisite artwork and furniture. There's even a library, which was once a billiard room, housing Anthony de Rothschild's extensive collection. The library boasts book-lined walls, a full portrait of the Duchess of Richmond, and other captivating masterpieces. And speaking of masterpieces, wait until you hear about the Flint House. Nestled in Buckinghamshire, the Flint House is a residential part of the Waddeston Estate. Commissioned by Jacob Rothschild, the fourth baron of the family, this unique house is a long, rectangular structure with a stepped roof that extends from the ground to its full height, creating striking wedge-shaped side elevations. Inside, you'll find an open-plan ground floor with a centrally located kitchen, a dining room, a small sitting room, a study, and a drawing room. The study even has a spiral staircase reminiscent of Baron Ferdinand de Rothschild Library in Waddeston Manor. 
Upstairs, there are two bedrooms, each with its own bathroom and a private roof terrace tucked away in the stepped roof. The design of the house beautifully integrates the elements of water, fire, and air, giving it a natural and harmonious feel. Now let's shift our focus to the Rothschild's love for historical buildings. One outstanding example is the Chateau, the Rothschild Castle, located in Pregni Chambassy, Geneva, Switzerland. This magnificent structure was built in 1858 by Swiss banker Adolf Karl de Rothschild. Over the years, it passed through the hands of family members, and as of 2013, it remained with the Rothschild family, serving as the principal residence of Edmund's widow, Nadine. It's incredible how the Rothschilds hold on to these remarkable properties. But let's not forget that the Rothschilds' taste for luxury extends beyond grand houses. One of their most extravagant possessions is the Planet Nine yacht, named after a hypothetical dwarf planet in our solar system. This luxurious exploration yacht is one of the most expensive in the world, with an estimated value of a staggering $102 million. The yacht can accommodate up to 16 guests, along with the crew members. The lower deck features five guest cabins, while the upper deck is reserved for the VIPs and offers amenities such as a theater room and an observatory lounge with panoramic views of the sea. It's truly a floating paradise. When it comes to their collection of cars, the Rothschilds didn't disappoint here either. One remarkable addition is the Bugatti Atlantic, a rare and highly sought-after model. In fact, only four of these cars were ever built, and one of them was purchased by Victor Rothschild, a British banker and politician. The iconic vehicle holds a significant place in automotive history. In 2010, it was sold for a jaw-dropping $40 million, making it one of the most expensive cars ever sold. There have even been rumors of Bugatti considering reissuing this exclusive model, and you can bet the Rothschild would be among the first in line to own one. Another luxurious automobile owned by the Rothschild family was the Ferrari California, which belonged to the late Benjamin Rothschild, heir to the French banking fortune. Known for his adventurous spirit, Benjamin enjoyed pushing the limits of his Ferrari California, reaching top speeds of up to 193 miles per hour. This sleek and powerful car comes with a price tag of around $150,000, showcasing the Rothschild's penchant for high-performance and luxury vehicles. Aside from their opulent properties and extravagant cars, the Rothschilds possess an extensive and valuable art collection. The Palais Rothschild alone boasts an estimated worth of over $2 billion. Within this incredible collection, you'll find priceless paintings, statues, furniture, books, and even armor, showcasing the family's power and wealth throughout history. Notable pieces include Franz Hals's portrait of a man and a woman, as well as Hyacinth Regard's painting of Count Philip Ludwig Wenzel Sinzendorf. Each artwork tells a story and contributes to the rich cultural legacy of the Rothschild family. So there you have it, just a glimpse into the lavish world of the Rothschild family. Their impeccable taste in properties, luxurious yachts, rare cars, and priceless artworks all reflect their immense wealth and influence. They've truly left an indelible mark on history, both in terms of their financial achievements and their appreciation for the finer things in life. What do you think about the richest family in the world? Do you think they could have been richer if they'd kept up with the intermarriages? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. While you're at it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more premium content.